Shalom. We all have our favorite paradigms that we like to hold on to and we like to defend. One of these conversations that regularly comes up is, who are we? We begin to discuss, is Judaism a religion? Is it a people? Is it a nationality? Is it a culture? Is it all of these things or none of these things? In philosophy of religion, in theology, we spend a lot of time arguing and trying to get to some some kind of base level to, to define what religion is. And from that, we start to ask who within the religion gets to make that definition? How much does a, a faith group have to differentiate itself from this original baseline definition before it's a new religion? And I had a lot of thoughts about this. I had a lot of different th thoughts about this, read, read a lot about it, thought about it. And then I came to India. And in India, they suffer from this, this conundrum, but they don't seem to have so much of a, a theological hiccup about it. In India, from north to south, the predominant religion is Hinduism. But Hinduism varies very greatly from each part, each state, each language, each family has its own take on what it means to be Hindu. It's not a, a religion with, with set defined terms like other Western religions. And from this, I began to see that actually it's very similar to Judaism. In Judaism, depending on who you are, where you're from, are you Ashkenazi or Sephardi, where's your family from, was, do you do this or don't you do that? We start to build a picture that every Jew really has a very unique Judaism based on who he is, where he's come from, and the direction where he's going. And I feel that this lack of knowledge, this lack of ability to define the religion is probably one of our greatest strengths as a religion. We know already that people who say, I know what God is, I know what the truth is, my way is the only way. We know that these people are almost always charlatans and that there is no truth in what they're saying. Nobody can claim to understand what God is, him being infinite and us being finite. No one can claim to know what the truth is by virtue of not knowing everything and again, not being infinite. So rather than saying my way is the highway, which a lot of people like to do and like to defend their beliefs as the only paradigm, we can celebrate as Jews as in our not knowing really what the ultimate truth is. And we end up instead in a discussion of what's the best way to perform the mitzvah? What's the meaning of this story according to the person who's reading it? And our, our library is filled with books about this rabbi's opinion about the text and this person's opinion about the text. And it begs the question, what is your opinion about the text? And I don't think that there is a singular Jewish belief about almost any Jewish subject, even from the most basic. All we can really seem to agree with is that we're monotheists in that, in that we believe that there's one God. There are some Jews who would argue that the ancient Israelites are henotheistic and that they accepted the existence of many gods, but still believe that one God was empowerment over all of them is a lot more like Hinduism. Do we agree on anything?